What is up guys and girls? So I'm super stoked to bring you the first video guide on all the transcribed locations within uh, Talos 1 and this will net you the psychometry trophy achievement. Now I have to say off the bat that this is heavily glitched in a positive way. I got the trophy after maybe 25, 26 pickups and I hadn't even got through half of the game yet so I will get into that a bit later as well. Also remember that a single scribe can hold up to three recordings. Alright without further ado let's get on with it. Okay, so bang at the start of the game. There's no map yet, so it's pretty much the area that you were doing the tests in. And it's going to be chilling, not on that PC, but right here on this desk. Okay, next up is going to be in the atrium. And this is going to be in the conference room, just off there. Uh, I don't think there was a map yet, but very easy to find. As you can see, I was still paranoid about chairs and stuff. And that is going to be someone's coming. Okay, next up, tell us one lobby. We are upstairs, and this will be in the staff lounge. And it is called. This is not a drill. All right, now we're going to head to the trauma. As quick and the trauma center, that is. One of the first areas you get to. And we're going to head to okay. Matthias Cole's computer, and we're going to grab several audio logs from there. Hello. Nice to see you. You too. Okay, so on the computer, not the scan. <laughs> okay, so utilities, you're going to have those three logins. Then what you want to do is activate the utility, activate a new test, and put in the order ACBAC, A-C-B-A-C. And then a safe is going to open and get you Morgan's session. Now remember, I'm doing this as the storyline progresses, and there is a couple of times where I deviate a little bit from the story, but just because the scribe itself is actually available in that specific area, kind of like the exterior, which sucks, but um, it sucks for navigation. It's still fun to navigate yourself, but there is no map help. Okay, so once you've done that, like I said, chest's going to open, and inside are going to be the goodies. Alright, so next up is Heldon Graves' office. Now this you probably won't have a key for yet, but uh, you can access it around the side on his window on the left. Uh, you can see his computer screen, or you can just come back later with the optional quest. And in here you're going to find the uh, Igwe's wife and the Neuromod secret ingredient. So I'll try and stick to the storyline as much as I can, but there will be the odd deviation like such. Okay, so now we're in the hard, hardware labs, and this is going to be in the atrium section on the upper deck, upper walkway that is, and that's going to be Don't Panic Scribe, or Transcribe, I'm just going to call them Scribes. There she is. Now again, I will start showing them a little bit later after each one. But for now, we're going to head to the demonstration stage in the hardware labs. And grab this guy's scribe, that is York. And the scribe is called Bring a Glue Gun. He looks like he had a very painful death. So the next one, we're going to head outside to the exterior. And this is around the time you do Calvino's lab, which is a story mission. This is uh, Dr. Igwe in the container. And you absolutely have to kill him now to get the scribe um, Igwe's last words. As I will show you right now. Well, I don't actually get it because I was going for kill no humans. But if you want to go for this, you have to kill him. Open the container right there and get that. Because if you kill him later, he doesn't drop the scribe at all. He only drops the Lietnia music sample, which you can get from his safe, which I'll show a bit later. So over here, you have to open this up. Do not save him. And on his body, you will find Igwe's last words. Then all we have to do is turn around, 
head inside the breach and we can grab the container docking for dummies transcribe. I just want to say again guys that it's very difficult to do a direct storyline collection of these transcribers because they can be collected at any time. So when all else fails, either ask me some questions and I'll let you know or refer to the, the timeline in the description where it will give you a description for each location of each transcribe. Okay, now we're going to head to the exterior and Dr. Calvino's breached lab. Now this whole section is part of the main story and you will be coming to his lab because you have to access his, uh, his workshop inside. But uh, yeah, this is part of the storyline and he's right here. And then what I didn't get on my first playthrough was his uh, key card, which is just behind him, floating with those pieces of paper. Sneaky puff adders. Now this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, you've probably seen the shuttle Exalt floating around in space. Now you will come here later with the derelict shuttle uh, side quest. Like that. And it's going to be floating around out here. And inside it's going to be shuttle Exalt Mayday and Mayday Bridge. Two, two scribes and one here. Okay, next up, we are in Psychotronics. This is going to be two, two scribes in there. It's going to be LG touchscreen calibration, and we need to talk about Annalise. Oh, 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 yes. I was uh, just about to call you. All I see is a dot. <laughs> okay, so next up we're in Psychotronics still and we're going to the Labs B. And we will find, describe, how are you holding up over here? Okay, where are we now? We are still in Psychotronics. Mitsuko's office, I think it is. Yep, yeah, and this is Project Cobalt. In light of what we now know the Typhon are capable of, and not capable of, it seems prudent. Okay, still in Psychotronics. We're going to head to Annalise Galagos' office, and we're going to get two scribes in one here, the volunteers, and mementos. Momento. Oh, nice to see you. Okay. So from here, material extraction in psychotronics is going to be the million dollar Kalk gun. Not sure what that's about. Alright, so now we're going to get to where it's a little bit more confusing. The magnetosphere control room we're going to head to. And this is right at the south end of Psychotronics. We're going to head into the guts. Which is very difficult to navigate because it doesn't have a map. Although it is pretty much a linear tunnel most of the time. But not all the time. And this is also en route to the Josh Dalton sting operation. The infamous Josh Dalton. Okay, so this passageway, this tunnel, just follow it all the way, straight, 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 until you get to this point. Exactly, map doesn't show you dick. Just what level you're on, I suppose, that helps. If you keep going forward, you'll keep going up. Okay, so you get to this little section here, where there's a little room, and that door is sealed. So what you want to do is look up, up, John, up. 
and you'll see this magnetosphere right here. We're going to head inside that and grab Andreas has the key. And this is actually when my trophy popped. So, not quite sure on the mechanics of this, but I'm not complaining, although it was a little bit of a disappointment, I guess. Um, I'm not even sure if it is glitched. It does say all the scribes, so who knows. And the trophy popped here. Okay, so now we've headed back outside the magnetosphere. And we're going to go through that door. Again, just for another reference, there's the magnetosphere. And now we are heading for the Sting Operation Scribe, which is on Josh Dalton's body. And this was an absolute bitch to find. And searching this area is not as fun. But anyway, you get to the T-junction, head right. And it's not too far down here. And this is also a Q-beam location, Q-beam weapon. Okay, so now we have to head down a little bit. Just follow those tracks. Ignore the radiation if you can. Or kill those guys probably first, but we're going to do a little sneaky here now. So we're going to look down this way. Just above the doorway. Oh, jeez, above, next to the side. Anyway, within this pipe area, you're going to find Dalton chilling in there. Chilling literally. So he's going to be floating behind this debris. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky puff adder. It's probably the most well-hidden body. Although I haven't found them all yet. Although I haven't actually looked for them. Maybe I'll do a guide on that as well. Okay, there we go. Sting operation done. What the hell is this? Now you follow the storyline. After I show the map. That's what this is about? I'm senior on the black box project, Josh. Okay, so this is following the storyline. This is on the Arbortum, but the um, guts exit. So we're right down the bottom there. And in this bay is going to be fine Grant Lockwood. Okay, further up, in the center of the Arbortum, we're going to have the three taps of a wrench. And this is going to initiate the black market or smuggling ring side quest. Okay, next up, we're going to go to... Oh, no, sorry, I thought we were going to deep storage, but I slotted this one in over here. This is the top of the Abortum. Because now you have access to that, just in front of where you were. And on the ground here is going to be Morgan's Breakdown Transcribe. Simple as that. Okay, now we're going into deep storage. And the scribe is hacking into deep storage. Now this is on the Abortum Access 2 deep storage. Sure, that's a lot of deep storage. And behind you is Alex's office. Just as another little reference. Although you probably don't need it. And he is in the death position. Like 99% of all the other deaths. No, actually he's is a little different. Normally they're reaching for something. There it is, hacking into deep storage. Okay, now we're going to head back up to the Arbortum. And we're going to climb up the side of Alex's office because we can't use the lift yet. And this is what I like to do. If I'm able to get the scribe in this area, then I'm going to go get it. Because you know, it unlocks doors and stuff like that. You could just do the storyline and come back, but nah. OCD kicking in. Anyway, jump on that beautiful rock and jump on this roof. Slide on over. And this is the golden gun. And I strongly recommend getting this as soon as possible because it fucking owns. Now there's some electricity here. So sort that out. You can see his body in the distance there. Well, a couple of meters away. I just edited out for confusion. And there is the scribe, the golden gun. 
Sucks that the scribes aren't named what they're headed. They're always named after the people, so you can search for them. With the crew tracker. Okay, so now I'm back where we were. Now the reason why I'm re-showing this is because if somebody skips to this transcribe, then they're going to have to see the map again anyway. But it's pretty much the same direction. Except now we're going to take a right. So if you're actually at the Golden Gun transcribe, the one before this, if you just turn around how I finished off, this will be directly behind you. But like I said, I have to show the map again. So there it is. This is Julian Howard's body, and the scribe is Superfruit. Okay, crew quarters. The first scribe is going to be in the concierge computer, and it's going to be called Bring Me Food. Be sure to scan all the zombie-like, mind-controlled humans here, because there aren't that many in the game. Okay, so now again, I start showing the audio logs bring me food and at this point ignore anything underneath it because I've done this over two playthroughs and reading uh, transcribes or audio logs beneath the one I just picked up is going to screw you around okay so again I've got to start at the beginning of the crew quarters and show the map and the last time I mentioned it just so people who skip to it can actually see it okay recreation center there is a booth here birth comms booth and you will download the happy birthday daddy from this one Okay, next up is the Fatal Fortress 3, and this is also in the recreation area, just where we were right there. I had my first nightmare battle in this room. It kind of says the nightmare is hunting you, when it should say the nightmare is right fucking behind you. It scared the shit out of me. And we have a treasure map, and I'll also be doing a guide on that, no worries. So there is the scribe, Fatal Fortress. Fatal Fortress 3. Okay, staying in the crew quarters, we're going to head over to the theater now. And this transcribe is called Password Safety. And we'll be in the, I think it's in the second screening room. Yeah, second screening room. And can be located under some seats. There it is. So I found your sticky note. One under the desk. Okay, so crew cabins B. I chose this side first because I think you come to the side before the A1 story wise, but they are right next to each other and it doesn't fucking matter. Okay, we are gonna head to Daniela Show's cabin and we're gonna grab two transcribes from one and you have to repair this one in order to grab them. Okay, so from right there, on the computer next to you, is going to be Say Yes. Okay, so from here, after we see this, Say Yes, and the other ones. Okay, so from this location, we are going to head to Calvino's cabin, and we're going to grab the Get Out. No, we're not going to Calvino yet, are we? No, we're going to Foy. And in here we'll find the get out transcribe, sorry for that. Someone's having a bit of a gaming session there. Or was. Imagine if they're playing Prey. <laughs> okay, so from here... Say yes. Okay, so Calvino's cabin. We're gonna grab four audio logs from his computer. They are entries one through four. I have never removed a neuromod, and yet today, on my way to the hardware labs, 
One, two, three, four. Arboretum for an an hour. I made some excuse, but I know me. Okay, so hibernation pods is next. Still crew quarters, and we're going to find three transcribes in a very close proximity. Birthday trust with a Y. I can read sheet music and surveillance on Annalise. So now I did this over two playthroughs, so some of the times I went back and re-recorded some that I didn't like, which is why the uh, the audio list might be jumbled. There's the first one. Next one is a couple of feet away. On the pod. And the next one is just above. Bang, bang, bang. Thanks for playing. All right, so now we're going to head to the crew cabins A. And we're going to go to Will Mitchell's cabin. Operation Skillet is the transcribe. And there it is. Okay, now the next one I've added in at the last minute because I'm trying to figure out how to get Dr. Igwe's scribes, all of them. Now his cabin is next door. Now I think if you want to get all the scribes, you can't get kill no humans on the same run because you have to kill him while he's in these uh, container in space to get the last words transcribed. If you kill him later in the office, then he just drops this, which is the Lietna music sample, which should be in that safe. But I will get into that again when we get to the exterior of the Talos one. Okay, so next up, we're in the freezer. And this is going to be bang on the window transcribe. On my second run through, I found myself stuck in this area. I didn't have a leverage three to move that ice block. I was kind of wondering what the fuck was supposed to do. Then realized all you have to do is shoot that pipe on the left, which lets the fire squirt out and melt the ice. Clever sausage. Okay, so after banging on that window, we're going to head to the fitness center. And the passcode for this can be on the concierge computer. Well, can be found on the concierge computer. And right here is going to be the Fatal Fortress 2. And behind me right now, if you smack the fire alarm, you'll get one of the safes. Black market safes. So this one is Abby isn't answering. Okay, now we're going to head to the cargo bay. You will find yourself in this area sooner or later. We're going to find what is a reporter. This is a reminder that all cargo must be scanned and cleared by authorized personnel. Now there's obviously going to be plenty of ways you can get to this. Sneaking, put out the fires, but if you've got the jump, jump is best. You can sneak along any of these, so if you don't have the jump, at least you know where it is. Right down there. Alright, so now this is just before you open this door and let the hordes in, which is the Gates of Hell trophy achievement. But we are going to head upstairs and grab two if transcribes. Comes that door, fire. Don't let the the first one is the Alfred Rose's orders. Alfred Rose? Is that right? Is that name Alfred? I'm not sure. But from here we're going to grab the commendation for Officer Haig, which is going to be right through here. Okay, now we have to start murdering people. So again, if you want to get all the transcribes, you cannot get the save every human. So now we're down here, we want to find Austin Cool. He's going to be Austin dead right now. So they start, they kind of scatter um, after that battle. Have a look for them. He took that like a boss. So on him, you're going to find Austin Cool's orders. Okay, so once you've cleared that up, head back down to where you were, and we're going to find one more on Alazar. Pleasure to use this trend start. Gun on you. 
Okay, so search for the body. It could be anywhere. Not that one. It's this one over here. And Sarah Elazar is the one you're looking for. And she's going to get you the Cargo Bay B code, Cargo Bay B Citrep, and we need bigger guns. Three and one there for you. Stay alert, Maddox. I'm just going to show you where Dr. Igwe is now. He's upstairs from where you were right then. And if you kill him now, you'll get the Lietnam music sample, which I don't actually think is part of the audio recordings, although it is in the list and everything, so I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you just have to kill him in space and then loot his uh, safe for the sample. But that's where he is, or was. Okay. There it is. So it is on the audio list, so I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, we're going to head back downstairs to the cargo door. And just through this door to the right is going to be Parcel Not Delivered Scribe. And there it is. Okay, next up, we are in, where are we, life support, I think, yes, life support, and right at the start, from the main lift, you can get the particle injector, and Remmer isn't Remmer, now, Kirk Remmer is the transcribe which didn't spawn for me in my second playthrough, but I will explain that when we get to that part at the end of this, so here's the one, inside the hatch, that is the particle injector, and out here, you will see the body there, it's on that body, but it's located over here. So don't get confused about why that disappears, but it did. I did get confused the first time, I was like, where the fuck is that guy's gone? Okay, so that's Remmer isn't Remmer. There we go, particle injector, Remmer isn't Remmer. Okay, we're going to head to the filtration system now. And this is going to be, I saw something, scribe. Not sure why I showed the upper level. Oh, that's where we're going, that's why. Idiot. So pretty much from the start, hang a left, and it'll be in the room just up here. Don't forget to put out the fire right there. You'll burn your balls. Okay, there is the scribe. I saw something. Okay, so here is the life support escape pods. Now, this is where a Typhon called Kirk Rimmer is meant to attack you, and on him will be the transcribe. So, if you're missing that, this is a very good place to start because it did spawn for me on my first playthrough. But up here, we have the drunk tank. So, just remember that uh, that transcribe will be in this room on a Typhon, and sometimes not like this playthrough. But that's where officially it's meant to spawn. Okay, next up, we have the grounding resistor, key code change for park storage, and Big Vegas, which wasn't on the other lists that I used. But she's got the grounding resistor on her. Yeah, uh, what's the story on Michaela's office? I filed an incident report. Now this one over here I think is the Big Vegas one, which wasn't on any of the text guides, so I'm not sure if it counts, but why not pick it up anyway? Okay, now make your bridge. You can also get there via the roof or the pipes above you. So over here we have the key code change part storage. <laughs> Fried ass. Okay, so you got three in that little run. Okay, so we're heading to the coolant chamber where we're going to get the unconventional leak plugger. And you'll have to find her for a story mission as well. And she happens to be right next to the door that you can't go through without the card. So coolant chamber, there it is. And we're heading to the left. So there'll be lots of fire here, but on her you will find the unconventional leak plugger. Could have been. Okay, so now we're in the reactor. The reactor and the reactor diverter is delivered is the transcribe. 
Check. Verbose. IFF. Power load. You don't actually need to take this uh, cover with you, you can just repair this one. If you don't want to use the spare parts, I'm thinking a more difficult setting, you'll probably use what you have. Okay, so now we're in the atmosphereless shuttle bay, and the first one's going to be in the pilot lounge. Nope, sorry, the sky lounge. And this is going to be the smuggling ring confession. Warning, oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. That got very old very quickly. There we go, smuggling ring. Uh, Mr. Yu. Okay, a little bit further down, we're going to go to the pilot lounge. And in here we're going to find two in one, shuttle exalt mayday and mayday bridge. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. There they are. This is Captain Hale, shuttle exalt. Confirm, please. I have some system malfunctions. It's uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I need to park ASAP. Okay, next up, shuttle bay escape pods. And in here, we're going to find they're just animals. It's your job to know. Two scribes. Now, I also searched uh, well all the escape pod bays for Kirk Grammer. But he was absolutely nowhere. When I do play uh, a playthrough on the hardest setting for my own enjoyment, after doing all the recording, I'm going to have a proper look at that and try and figure that out. Okay, so two scribes there. They're just animals, and it's your job to know, as I will see right here. Okay, getting close to the end now. Are you at the crate docking control station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. So now we're going to be on the exterior, so take the airlock out of shuttle bay, which is going to be in the massive area directly in front of you as you enter the shuttle bay, and you'll see the writing there, Transtar Corp, is underneath the hatch, so from that angle, if you look straight up, you'll see some golden mist, I'm going to say dark matter, but it's not very dark, so head towards that, and then you're going to deviate slightly, now above you there you'll see some canisters, these white canisters, I should turn the fucking torch on by now. So head for these canisters after you've gone over the mist and stop right there. Now look around and you're bound to see that. That hull breach right there is where we want to go and that's where the shuttle bay is. The shuttle bay airlock. That's as best as I can describe that. Because uh, obviously no map support. And then as I was going, I saw that there, the lobby. So that's another point of reference, or a reference point. So inside there, we're going to grab the uh, transcribe, which is, it's all in my head. And he kind of looks like he was dying saying that to himself, the way he's shaped, or his way his uh, body's been left, and as well as a Q-beam gun right there. It wasn't all in your head, if that makes anything better. Probably not. He's giving me the cold shoulder. And that's what my missus would call an old man joke. Okay, so where are we now? We are heading to Shuttle Bay. And we're going to head to the control tower. And this is where you will fight Dahl in the end. But I will explain that in detail. So you can get this later. You don't really have to get it now. You will definitely come back here to get uh, I don't know. his cargo hold key. No, it's your job to know, Not to get confused with that, but that was the can you get to us transcribe. Okay, so now we're going to head up to Alex's office. This is very much nearing the end now. So in here, in a safe at the back, is going to be, I keep having this dream. Okay, so from here, we're going to head to the Talos One command deck, which is the bridge. And in here, we're going to find three transcribes with a total of five recordings. So these two, well, this one will have one. This one over here will have another one. 
and then the one upstairs will have three. And I will show the list in a second. So those two there, which is shuttle secret and checking on an SOS. And over here, Captain Marks will have full evacuation, the golden gun, and Captain Marks dilemma. Okay, back to Alex's office. Now we're going to initiate Dahl's orders. Quite a few steps to take, so continue the storyline. I can't stress that enough. Continue the storyline until you have to get to the point where you have to scan the coral. And this will come naturally, no doubt. Just keep doing the main story quest and you'll get to this. Okay, so after you've scanned the coral, you're going to come back and attempt to upload the data and then you're going to get interrupted, which is going to introduce you to Dahl. has authorized me to take full command of Talos 1. Okay, so once you've done all that, you're going to head to Dahl's quarters over here, which is actually the control tower again. His temporary quarters. And you'll also see his um, command shuttle, which is now in the shuttle bay to your left. Yes, bad news. You won't be flying back with me. But you already knew that, right? I did. <laughs> Okay, so once he's dead, check his corpse for the uh, cargo hold key, and then turn around and extend the bridge. Or well, there's the body, this is different footage, so turn around and check out the computer here for the bridge. Extend the walkway, and we can jump on down and grab the third last transcribe or audio log. Okay, that takes care of the repo man. But we're gonna head over here to the screen and transfer the file. That's gonna be Dahl's orders. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus. And you can blow Talos one to pieces. So killing him is gonna give you the just in case transcribe. And then there is one more. One more scribe to grab here. Now just to your right hand side right now, I didn't show it, is going to be the bunker where he was hiding. Just to my right hand side. There it is. So head on down there and you will get the final scribe, which is called if things go sideways. So that is it guys and girls, the last transcribe for the game. So that is going to bring us to the end. I want to say thanks for watching guys and I really hope you found the video informative. And if you did find it informative, then subscribe if you really liked the way it was recorded and the way it was produced because this is how most of my videos are anyway. So again, guys, I want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.